Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people. That's W-O-R-M-I. And for those that are new uh, to the channel, I spell Waramai because my accent, sometimes people hear it as war on my, but it's not. The Waramai people are the traditional owners of the land on which these videos are made. So welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. In Australia, we like to acknowledge our history. It's a tradition I'd like to see uh, gain momentum worldwide. It's one of my little, yeah, it'd be good. Um, so thank you for joining me. I read all your comments personally. I heart them when I've read them. I thank you so much. Um, if you've got any questions you'd like me to look at, pop them in the comments section below. And I keep a running list. I've got Sasquatch. I've got uh, the Swiss collections. I've got the African standing stones, etc., etc., on my list. And I will get to them all eventually. So thank you so much. Um, first of all, I'd love to just send huge love out to the people of Maui and the Hawaiian Islands. Um, I gather the World Kitchen is a good place to donate to if you can. Um, it is a reminder that as this world, this planet, this global community, as we're going through climate change, there will be more and more severe events. As an Australian during uh, bushfire season, uh, the 1920, uh, I had for weeks on end, day after day, tying our phone number into the manes and tails of our horses. We had at least three emergency escape routes. The car stayed packed. Um, of non-perishables and also uh, uh, valuable possessions like uh, heirloom jewellery. We had our documents, passports, birth certificates, etc. in a bag next to the door, uh, ready to go at the merest whiff of uh, uh, smoke. So a, a reminder that um, not to take uh, these disasters, these disasters or hints at disasters um, lightly. It's better to to leave and be able to come back than to uh, not leave at all. So, uh, just a little bit of a sobering warning there. A uh, huge love out also to Cash Peters and his beautiful cat Olive. Uh, Olive has been diagnosed with uh, a serious jaw cancer uh, that really is untreatable. Um, it's going to be a difficult couple of months for cash. Olive is just going to relish being spoiled rotten. Um, so my heart uh, really does go out to the two of those. Um, all of us who have had fur babies can understand what's, um, what uh, cash is going through and we are just surrounding you both with, with just huge love and uh, we are here for you. Uh, the cards yesterday mentioned that uh, it would be a male judge for the Georgia case. Yes, a male judge has been appointed, Judge Robert McBurney. Uh, I gather this morning the grand jury in regards in Georgia handed uh, 10 in sealed indictments to the judge. He unsealed them, didn't mention anything about them, uh, and has passed them on to the clerk for safekeeping. There's going to be some interesting stuff come out there. I'm going to post on my community page a link to live updates on what's happening in the Georgia case. The latest of which was Lindsay declaring uh, <laughs> declaring uh, that he's going to go on Fox News and have a bit of a rant about um, or Fox Entertainment. It's not news. Have a rant about how it should be up to the people to decide, not a judge. Well, I'm sorry, but if if crimes have been committed, then it's definitely to a judge. Uh, Lindsay is panicking because he's going to get caught up in this uh, and he is in so much deep doo-doo. Um, yeah, I've done, If feel free to put in the um, search option. Uh, Lindsay uh, or Graham, I have read on him many, many a time uh, and uh, he's he's very definitely getting caught up. Now, if I look a little bit tired, I do apologise. Yes, I am exhausted. Um, feeling very, very bloated and I forgot how itchy the belly gets <laughs> with uh, uh, the uh, swelling, whether it be pregnancy or whatever. Uh, my appointment's been brought forward to this Thursday, so two days' time. I'll keep you posted. Okay, what I want to have a look at is in Coffee County, there have been... 
text messages and emails come out uh, giving Trump lawyers uh, post-election authorization access to the ballot machines in Coffee County. Highly illegal. Paper trails there. Uh, I just want to have a look. And so it was a Trump uh, supporting uh, election official. Uh, entertainment only. Sorry, I've waffled for five minutes already. Uh, I want to have a look. King of Swords prosecutor coming forward, going to bring evidence of who paid what and who and where and owed. And, and I'm getting a draw to the money laundering. Money laundering slash bribery. Okay, so on that note, Coffee County RICO charges, are there going to be now, these can be brought forward in the Fulton County case. Uh, this is why the case has taken quite a while to get momentum and get started because every time Fano Willis turns around, there is something new coming forward when she has to decide how, what, where, when, and, and what information and what needs further investigation. So I think what's happened is she's decided on... While well, I'm talking about Fane, yes, yeah, she's paddling the boat, they packed up the truth. I, okay, thank you. It is six, six, um, six uh, swords here. Um, maybe there's, there'll be more than six involved, but there might be six serious charges brought forward that she's going to slam dunk. And then they're going to pick up, then they're going to move on to the rest of them. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Will there be RICO charges? RICO charges, money laundering charges, racketeering charges, uh, bribery charges, you name it, laid in regards to Coffee County ballot machines. Let's have a look. Come on down. Oh, here it is again. Yes, damn yes. Uh, mystical manga are these cards. Yeah, it's all about who paid who, what, where, when and how, who owed what, where. Um, yeah, doling out. Ooh, okay, doling out the money. All about the money. Huge yes card, all about the money. Rico charges. Now, if you, you have to remember that Rico charges were what brought Al Capone down um, in regards to, I believe it was the IRS back in the day. This is not an opinion type of case. This is a case where they have definitive, definitive information that cannot be argued against. And I believe uh, in the US, uh, the, as a jury, you cannot hold out if the if the um, evidence is irrefutable, and I'm getting that there is irrefutable evidence here in regards to the manipulation, the foundation manipulation, attempted manipulation or manipulation itself. In the past, we had the voter ergo, the voting machines. Did ask in Coffee County is and it's in regards to access to voting machine um, information that is illegal to be assessing, and it it is very possibly an attempt to manipulate that information to try and show fraud, fraudulent voting, which was disproven. Crowning the thread in the Knight of Cups. An offer coming forward. I'm wondering whether, okay, I'm not getting that this is going to form part of the initial um, case in Fulton County. I'm wondering whether Fane or another prosecutor is going to take this up and make the same sort of offer that they did to the fake electors. Um, you dob in on your fellows and uh, we'll cut you a deal type thing, but an offer being brought forward here. This may also be the offer from, because it is crowning this reading in regards to the manipulation, the offer made from the elector 
the election official to Trump's lawyers. Okay, where's this going? Judgment. Literal judgment, exposure of those that were involved is what I'm getting there, going to be brought to the surface. Externally, it is about the abuse of power. The abuse of power, the manipulation, the um, sabotage internally, those that were involved, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety. Here we have hopes and fears, loss. So there may be three that find themselves convicted or charges brought against, two perhaps dobbing in um, or two managing to scrape by, but the three I'm getting three involved in going to lose. The amount of people that tied themselves to this Trump train that has literally cost them their career, their future, their reputation, and he's just left them all um, uh, destroyed. I can't I just cannot believe. Anyhow, crowning this uh, outcome, a plan coming to fruition of of um, possible overseas interference. Yeah, the fact that we've got the two of wands, so the three of wands and the two of wands, really getting the fact that there was an overseas interference here. And then the king of cups, the DOJ are looking into this. The king of swords may also involve Jack Smith because king of swords is my Jack Smith. And here we have the Fulton County case. Now, don't underestimate that they are all working. I won't say they're working together, but they are working in coordination with each other, that when information crosses boundaries, that information is passed on. It's not being, this is my case, you can't have anything in regards to it. But yeah, the truth, truth being packed up. Those that are, were involved are going to have to defend themselves with the seven of uh, wands. Their foolishness is going to be exposed with the fool card. There are high priestess, there are secrets here that have not yet been revealed that will be brought forward about their corruption. This is financial corruption as well as ethical corruption, moral corruption. We have temperance. When I'm talking about these political situations, I'm so drawn to them pouring the, this card, pouring the water from jug to jug. Um, in this particular card, the jugs are also tied up. So this is how they can, they're trying to work out how they can spin it as they're pouring back and forth. And here is my overseas money influence card with the Empress. The Empress, and there is a paper trail of the money. And it's being being followed, that it's going to bring about some jail time and tower moment for some that were involved. On the base, we've got the Three of Swords. The uh, three swords of truth piercing the heart. Again, I think there's going to be three that are really going to find themselves caught up in this. The wish fulfillment, but it's also be careful what you wish for because it is an illusion. We have our dark money here and we have our secrets being brought to the surface and revealed with the moon card. Okay, um, yeah, just again. Yet another case. Um, yet another case. Um, I'm really seeing that there's three that were involved here that are just really going to find themselves in deep doo-doo. Okay, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll post that link over onto the community page. Keep an eye. It's going to be an interesting week. Catch you later.